Okay, this is my Ameritron AL572. And um, we had checked it out. Um, and the guy I think I bought it from, you know, it was used, said that uh, he didn't think it was set up for 10 meters, but he never used it on 10 meters. And um, I had an Ameritron AL811H, I think it was that my uh, wife sold for cheap at Dayton one year while my uh, back was turned or actually I was walking away buying stuff and on the Ameritron AL811H I had it was also not set up for uh, 10 meters and you can find some information on the net it's not out there a lot because I guess it's kind of a secret because amateur radio people don't want CBers uh, converting their amps to 10 meters hence 11 meters um, easily but if you are, are a licensed amateur radio operator and you have an Ameritron most tube amps that I've known and I've looked on the net and if you look up uh, Ameritron and green wire and 10 meter mod it's a few um, blogs or a few videos too that will pop up and they basically all say the same thing cut the green wire um, and then on this one my um, 572B it's 572 here um, I got my meter hooked up to the um, input circuit where the input circuit goes out into the tubes on one um, of my jumpers and I got the input circuit hooked to ground on the uh, red jumper there and I got my meter on continuity and when I turn the band switch here over to 10 meters it shorts out well that doesn't say 10 meters but your auxiliary would be your uh, 10 meter tap you see uh, auxiliary in 15 20 40 80 160 no short right but again from the factory you put it that band switch on 10 meters and this is the input board with the input tuning on it and it has all the um, 10 meter stuff in there actually it's that uh, second coil underneath there with three turns on it where the green wires goes to hard to see but it's in there at second coil down is the uh, 10 meter input coil and the caps and everything's in there hard to see and get to because it's a small gap there but that green wire from there goes straight to ground right here soldered in so I'm going to cut my green wire actually I'm going to unsolder it no I'm going to cut it for the purpose of this video so I got my nippy cutters and as everything is right you know my meter is showing a dead short well three ohms close enough to a dead short and we cut the wire it stops so my um, 10 meter coil or 10 meter input is no longer grounded out. That's it. That's the trick on most American uh, Tron amps. Um, they use the same boards for a lot of amps, especially on the input. And almost all of them I have seen, you know, I've had a few, looked at a few, um, seen some on the net. Know some people that got them and uh, for 10 meters on all the ones I've saw at least the tube ones um, cut the green wire that'll put you on uh, 10 meters uh, they grounded out the um, 10 meter on the input side heat kit with the Drake with the um, SB221 they use a filter which was a um, notch filter that um, grounded out or you know didn't let the um, 
27, 28 megahertz pass through. So uh, you couldn't drive the amp properly. I think I've told the story a few times. I had a uh, buddy who had a uh, Phantom, no, he had a uh, Heat SB220 with that 10 meter notch in there and uh, or filter. And he drove it with a Phantom 500. And he drove it with 500. He got a thousand out of it. It was on his desk right in front of his face for years. And he got rain cancer. I think it was because of that setup. But anyway, cut your uh, green wire on the input board. You should be good to go for 10 meters. That is all you need to do. And fortunately, um, you can tune the input tuning right there. Um, through the holes on this amplifier, your 10 meter will be the auxiliary once you cut the uh, green wire. Okay, that's it for this one. My um, Meritron 572B looking good. This is a pretty robust amp for a uh, 4 572B amplifier. Much more robust than the uh, Meritron AL811. Um, I'm liking what I see so far. Just hope it works. Alright, bye.